Hello, welcome to Painting with Jasmine Rempel Art. I'm Jasmine and today I want to paint some Easter egg bookmarks. They will end up looking somewhat like this. Here's one, this has been laminated and I added a tassel. Here is another one. And one with some purples and blues and pinks. And lastly, ones with just purple and blue. So to do this, I have a few supplies available. I have here a piece of watercolor paper, 140 pound. I've cut it into a two inch by seven inch strip. I've got some water, a paper towel, a gummy eraser, and um, a graphite pencil, a B. I've got a jelly roll. Um, this is a jelly roll mark um i can talk here sorry a jelly roll pen and this is by sakura they work well for me i've got a large round brush this is a number 10 it's a silver black velvet i've got a rigger brush for signing my name this is a number one my paints that i'm using today are windsor newton watercolor paints and they're the professional level um don't feel you have to use professional level. Um, any watercolor paints will do for you. So let's get started. To start this process, I have already very lightly sketched out some eggs. I'm going to do them darker so that you can see the process of the sketch. When I first sketched these, I went around a number of times before I found my shape, the shape that I liked. This will be basically the shape on the bottom. It's a little bit off there. I'm drawing a lot lighter, uh, excuse me, a lot darker than I typically do so that you can really see what's going on. There's one egg. I'm wanting to use um, as much as the composition as I can, so I'm touching this egg to the side. And then my last one, I'm also overlapping them. We know eggs don't stack well. These appear to be stacked, but I'm making like I have a bird's eye view looking down at them. So there's the three eggs that I'll be working with. Um, I'm going to be using wet and wet, so I'll start by filling in the bottom egg with some water. Pick that up to look for the sheen. When I see the shine, the sheen of the water, I know where to bring the water. I know my, I can see where I've painted some and I can see where I still need some. Okay, that bottom egg is nice and wet, so I'm going to reach into a color. I really like the way the phalo turquoise looks, so I'm reaching into that color, and I'm just going to let it spread in my wet egg. I want my color saturation to be pretty intense because I'm going to draw with the white gel pen on top. So it's important that the color value is dark and that there's a lot of paint. All right, I filled in my space, round out my edges. I've gone out of my pencil line here. That's okay. I'm using a brush with a nice fine tip that helps. Okay, now I'm reaching into my phalo turquoise again, and I'm just going to tap some of this very dark color, kind of create a speckle look. 
Right now there's lots of um, pigment on my brush and little water, which is why it appears to be a much darker value than the first wash. Good, I'll just let that run around the bottom and do its thing. Remembering that I will be adding details on the top with my gel pen. I'm getting a bit of a puddle down here, so I just cleaned my brush, dried it off, and I'm picking up some of that puddle. Okay, let's go into the top. Nice wet brush. I'm choosing not to go to the center egg because the bottom one is still wet, and if I add water and pigment to this one, what will happen is they'll run together, and I don't want that at this time. Sometimes that looks beautiful um, and creates a lovely effect. I often aim for that in florals, but at this point I want hard edges for these eggs. And I only want colors to blend within the egg shape itself, not between the eggs. Okay, that's very saturated. I'm wanting to make sure it's all wet. Not so wet that I'm creating so much liquid that it runs out of my borders, but not so dry that as I'm working wet on wet, it dries up. Okay, I'm going to reach now for um, aqua green. And let it run in there. I had a wet brush and I picked up pigment so my pigment is nice and wet and that's basically bleeding around within the water inside. I'm going to pick up my phthalo turquoise and add that to this side and let these two colors meet and blend. Just turning my paper to do that. There we go. I'm pushing down on my paper right now because it's um, it has changed shape. It's absorbing the water so it's beginning to um, lift up. I'm, I've dried my brush, cleaned it, dried it, and now I'm picking up a little bit of this water with pigment and I'm going to draw in right down to this baseline. Nice. I like how there's that little white area in the center. I'm going to add a few speckles. So I'm going into my aqua green and I'll just, oh, I need more. Nothing's happening there. That's better. Tapping some in, just randomly, intuitively. Okay, I like that. Now I don't want to do anything in this center egg. I want this one to dry. So I'm going to just put this aside and I have another one here. Now you can see I've already sketched out the eggs. So I'm going to start in the bottom one. Once it's dry, I'll erase the pencil lines that can be erased. 
Again, filling in the egg. There's some blue in there, aqua, that's okay. I think I'll use some purple. I'm reaching into a quinacridone violet right now. It's a very dark purple. It's so beautiful the way that ran. Gorgeous. I need to pick up a little bit of this water. I have a pool growing here. All right, now I'm going to go into my permanent rows. Put that in on this side. Paint it in a bit. I want these two colors to meet and blend a bit. This is just playing. A little more of the purple. Tapping it in randomly. Eggs are fun because there's no rules to an egg. You never know what kind of bird we've found what kind of bird laid this type of egg. An imaginary bird. One thing I do know is eggs are often speckled, so speckles work. All right, that looks good. Go to the top one. I'm going to wet this. Good. Um, hmm, color. How about a Windsor Violet? Stick with the purple theme. That filled up the egg quite quickly. Gorgeous. What a beautiful color this is. Windsor Violet. Okay. Nice. Mm -mm. Why don't we add some phalo blue? I like those words. Why don't we? It's the fun of making little bookmarks. It's purely for fun. Purely for experiment. And they make lovely little gifts. Tap, tap, tap. I'm thinking about the fact that I want to remember to have dark values. So lots of pigment. I want the white gel pen to show through. If I was just doing um, eggs without the gel pen, then having a um, darker and lighter value would look great. And I'm still going to have some variation in the value, but I want to make sure it's a lot of dark. 
I'm adding more pigment, more speckles. Beautiful. Okay, let's let this one dry and go back to our first one. Just touching. That's still wet, so I'm going to turn this off and blow dry. Okay, this is dry. All I did was um, uh, turn on my blow dryer and dry it. Okay, um, so for color choices in this one, I had um, basically the same colors. I had aqua green and phalo turquoise running all the way through. I want to do something different here. I'm going to use the complementary color of blue and green and do an orange red one in the center just to help it pop a bit. So I'm reaching into um, cadmium orange. Yeah, that is stunning against those two. And then I'm going to reach into my um, cadmium red. Gorgeous. I love those effects. Just let it bleed a bit, moving my paper around. Blend them. I like this little highlight there. I'm just going to leave that. That was a little happy a little happy moment that happened. My cat's trying to climb up on me. He's bugging me. So if you hear him, just I'm trying my best to ignore him. What he does is start to claw my pants though. Oh, okay, he's made it up. You might see his face. <laughs> Ziggy, I'm painting and doing a tutorial. <laughs> You're making it difficult. <laughs> I was just on holiday, so he's pretty desperate for my attention right now. I just got back. He wants some pets. And the art room happens to be the cat room, where he hangs out as well. Why don't you put your paw here? Create a nice effect. Yeah. Well, cat prints on the eggs. I am speckling right now. You've probably realized that. There, I like that. That looks great. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and bring out my other one, which I've completed already while it, uh, the camera was off. And I'm going to start drawing. So I've got my gel pen here. It's the number 10 again, Jelly Roll Sakura. I ordered it from Amazon. I'll put the link on. This one in the middle is still wet because I just did it. So this is the fun. This is the designing part and the doodling. It's all fun. So I'm just playing here. I think I'll try to zoom in for you. There we go. Ziggy, I would really like you to go away.
There's so many um, doodle patterns to be done. If you do this and make your own, I would love to see what you come up with. So I can learn from you. If you show a picture, you can, um, I believe you can upload a picture on my Instagram through message, a message, or add me to Instagram, follow me and then send a picture or on my Facebook, I'll have links for that, both of those. Hmm, I like that already. I might leave this one. Let's just do a few more details. When I started making these eggs, I was thinking of Ukrainian eggs. I know they don't look exactly like Ukrainian eggs, but when I was little, my mom used to do Ukrainian Easter eggs with us. I haven't done them since, but I was thinking, oh, let's paint and draw with that in inspiration in mind. Okay, there's one little egg, and what I'm going to do now is zoom you out and go on time lapse for the other portions. Okay, I have finished my little designs. I cut the corners of this one, so I'll do this for you to see. I have this wonderful little edge cutter. I will link, um, I'll link the Amazon link on my, in my description of this video if you wanna see where to get this little handy dandy tool. So I've got some nice clipped edges. I'm going, I've already put my initials on this one. I'm using my rigger brush. I'll do the same here. Might as well use some of that orange red, carry it down to the bottom a bit. And I just put JR or Jasmine Rimple. And the last thing that I would do, being sure this is dry, is I would just erase, go in and erase my pencil lines. After that is done, if I really like a bookmark, I often write Jasmine Rempel art on the back and then I laminate it and add a tassel for the bookmarks so that they last. They are little works of art, I wanna protect them. So I have laminated this one and I've added a tassel. The tassels, again, I purchased on Amazon. I have tons and tons of them. And the laminator I purchased on Amazon too. It's just the little one. It's called Swing, Swing Line. I'll bring it over and let you have a little peek at it. And there it is, just a tiny little home laminator. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend and um, if you do create some of these, I'd love to see what they look like. I'm inspired by you. Hope you were inspired by me. Keep creating happy painting. Bye for now.